Aries, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today we are going to be looking at your October prediction. I'm going to be looking at your general energy, love and career. So let's get started. So we have the uh, numerology guidance cards, which I recently just got and I absolutely love them. So we're going to see what your general energy, general energy is right now. And let's see what's going on. I also, I hope you guys like my setup. <laughs> I'm going for a more casual setup today. So let's see what's going on for you guys in terms of October. Okay, we have spiritual partnership. Boom, gorgeous, love that. I'm gonna pull out another card for you guys because I really feel like you guys need it. So let's do that. Oh, compassion, I love that. That's stunning. And underneath the deck we have nature. So if you guys, I feel like it's really good for you to get out in nature. That's really going to help you kind of get grounded. Um, in terms of this spiritual partnership, um, I feel like it's really good for you guys to let your guard down. For some reason, they're telling me you've got a wall up. You need to let your guard down. Compassion for yourself. Give compassion to yourself and kind of draw in what this is. Okay, so if, there, if there's someone coming in and you're not too sure about them, Possibly just give them a chance, you know, I feel like this is going to be a really, really good opportunity for you to blossom, for you to branch out, for you to um, kind of harvest something. So I have the, my next door neighbours have a tree outside and it's an apple tree. For some reason I'm really looking at you guys kind of picking the apples and kind of harvesting something and like storing them away. So in terms of spiritual, what does this mean in terms of spiritual partnership then? It means that you're gathering up the strength to kind of... Um, interact with them so you may have had some really bad times with friends relationships anything like that especially to do with spiritual partnerships and i feel like for you guys you're possibly holding on too tight to yourself you're kind of doing this and like looking away but i feel like you guys are really needing to kind of open yourself up and see what's out there for you and kind of take it and use it for yourself instead of ignoring it and saying no nah, i don't want that mm -mm. I feel like a lot of you guys are doing that. So be very compassionate to yourself. And this I'm seeing is your third eye chakra. So I sense you are going to know when this person is going to come in. Or you're going to know this is the right decision to do. To, to kind of go forward with them. This could be a relationship. This can also be a friendship. Okay. This can also be, be a, just a mentor. Someone who's going to help you in just general life. They could easily help you with your career I feel like. Um, <clears throat> I'm seeing children as well. So if you have children, they could also be your, your spiritual partnership, which is really cute. I feel like your kids could really kind of um, be a beacon for something. So somebody, one of your kids could say something and it could be like, hmm, I didn't think about that. Or that's really nice. Like, <laughs> that sounds so passive. That's really nice. No, like, <laughs> you'd be like, oh, that's really interesting. Or you could possibly be spending more time with your children and they could be becoming more of a spiritual being possibly if they're younger or even if they're older they could have a sudden realization and they be could become more spiritually connected with you if you are on that level as well i feel like you just could just be coming more closer with your children as well um or a certain child uh even with a dog as well like i feel like a lot of you are going to possibly uh i don't know why i say like come closer with a pet but maybe you want to close with them or you need to kind of create a more stronger relationship with an animal um, because maybe they were a bit scared or a bit nervous and now they're kind of warming up to you something like that There's some sort of like letting in and letting things move through in terms of relationship and accepting love I feel that's a very deep thing for you guys um, And let's see let's kind of get a clarification on compassion And then we'll get clarification on spiritual partnership. So what's this compassion about? Okay so there's a clump of cards and I didn't really like it. So oh, there we go. We have underneath friendship. So yes, definitely to do with friendships, guys. That's really going to be the um, height of your month. Is all to do with friendships and kind of wateriness. I'm getting just sudden water just flashed right in front of me. Like um, like an ocean. Like water. And I saw the top of it just rippling. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of emotions and a lot of um, intensity is going to be drawn directly towards your spiritual friendships, partnerships, even your partnerships that you're already in if you're um, with somebody. And I feel like you're going to have a lot of courage. I feel like there's something to do with being scared of letting people in because we have courage. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. So there's definitely a sense of like you're not treating me well, but I'm not sure how much I want to actually 
put my boundaries down. I'm getting, I can't be asked. I can't be asked to put my boundaries down or I just don't want to deal with this right now. I'm getting that. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you really need to have the courage to kind of step up and say, hey, this is what I want. This is what we're going to do. If you don't like it, then that's totally fine. But this is how I feel. And I, this is my vibe. And I'm not going to interact with you if you're not on my vibe, you know. And this is a lot to do with nature. So if you are feeling quite intense, if feeling intense vibes, get out in nature, get yourself grounded and get some fresh air, guys. I'm being very, like, motherly. Get some fresh air. <laughs> get out. <laughs> get out of the house. Um, so what's this spiritual partnership about? This could also basically, I'm hearing for a lot of you singles, um, even in relationships, but I feel like for some of you who are in relationships, you are looking for a new person. So maybe some of you are kind of on the verge of breakups. So funnily enough, we have compassion again, but with spiritual partnership. So same colour, but the fact we have compassion twice is really showing me you've got to be really gentle with yourself this month. And there could be somebody who is not who they seem, okay? So you may figure out some dirt on somebody, but I think you're going to really like it because you're going to be like, ah, oh, that's why you were acting like an asshole. <laughs> that's why you were acting weird, you know? Um, but I feel like it's going to be really good because you're going to get completion on something, you know? I feel like you're going to get, like connect i'm feeling like a lock and a key and you're gonna be like yes i know what's, well, i know what's going on right i know what's going on now possibly i know what's going on with myself or i know what's going on with that certain person i'm seeing like a lock and it's locking in place so you know you get the padlock and then you get like the little bit of metal and obviously you unlock it and then you can move it around that's that's clicking in now so i feel like a lot of you guys are really figuring out how to interact with certain people who before you were kind of like don't know now you're like this is what i want Mm. <laughs> this is what I want, this is what I'm gonna get, okay? Um, and whether you like it or not, pretty much. So, compassion. What was I saying earlier about relationships? I can't remember. Okay, so that's obviously, that, that will come up later if it's meant to come up. So, compassion. Be gentle with yourself, forgiveness will set you free, see the light in yourself and others. So, with this Libra energy, it's definitely, um, I don't know why it's just not focusing. It's definitely a kind of, focus on relationships okay with this libra energy so there's a lot of intensity and i can really feel like this month guys i've been feeling moody i've been feeling like annoyed at everything i don't know what is going on but this energy is like all up in the air it's like really subconscious shit that's coming up excuse my friends but i really got to swear in this re reading because i feel like it's just so intense and fiery so you guys are really trying to figure out what is missing, okay? That is what I feel like the, the vibe is. And there's a lot of purple, okay? Compassion twice. Love a good repetition. And we've got 99, so you're on the verge of something changing, okay? Um, which I really, really like. That's stunning. So let's have a look in terms of your love life specifically. Let's have a look. What do my Aries need to know about their love life right now? What's coming for them in their love life? Okay, we have a nice clump of cards. I like this clump, so I'm going to keep it. So we have the Strength Hanged Man uh, reversed, and we also have the Five of Cups. And then let's clarify what's this all about. Ace of Swords. What's this Hanged Man in reverse? Queen of Swords. I think a lot of cutting off people cutting off cutting off bullshit basically saying this is what i want if you can't match up to it goodbye which i love i love that it's very strong very intense i mean that's my scorpio energy coming in there that right now because i'm a scorpio i'm just like yes do it aries do it <laughs> um and then we have the um eight of pentacles in reverse so you may feel like you're going backwards in terms of your love life. You may feel like, why the F is nothing happening? This is boring. Don't know what I'm doing. This could be for singles and relationships. I normally start off with singles to start off with, okay? So, singles. You guys are really going into your strength right now. You are possibly cutting off a lot of people who don't, who don't match up to your energy, which is really good. I love that. Um, there's definitely a new opportunity coming towards you and you may need a lot of strength in terms of how you're going to approach it, okay? So whatever this means to you, um, as it's general energy, it will mean various things to you guys, okay? We then have the hanged man in reverse with the queen of swords. 
this is you in being really empowered with your brain cells <laughs> that's what they're telling me so i feel like you are using your intelligence side like your brain instead of your heart on how to deal with a certain situation okay so meditation is going to be really really important this month because there's a lot of brain power being used okay so in terms of new love there could be somebody coming in with the ace of swords so it could be somebody um an air sign or it could just be an overall opportunity that you feel like you can't do but you can do and it ends up being a love relationship okay um i'm not seeing massive amounts of love this month because i feel like it's more directed at you and your compassion for yourself but this is a general energy so it can it doesn't have to resonate for all of you okay guys um and also we have the five of cups with the six of swords so you guys are really kind of contemplating what the hell is going on um why do i feel so lackluster i don't really know what that means so that just came to me so lackluster why do i feel so empty i'm getting like an element of like a perfume bottle and it's got like a tiny bit of perfume in it and you're really trying to spray it and like spray it on you but nothing's coming out because you just want to get that tiny little bit left and it's not coming out so i feel like you guys are really kind of like what do i do what do i do in my love life what am i doing wrong you're doing absolutely nothing wrong if you're feeling like this you generally are just clearing out you're clearing okay and it's mainly just you are needing to connect more with your compassion there's just a blockage i'm seeing like a massive rock and it's just blocking you from going forward but it doesn't mean that you're doing anything wrong it just means that this needs to shift naturally okay you can i feel like you can kind of engage with this more by meditating and getting out in nature but it's like you gotta just relax guys just gotta relax for this month just calm just breathe through it i know it's frustrating but i really do feel like you guys are really getting it through this and i feel like the strength card and the ace of swords is a really good sign because even though you're feeling stuck if you are um your strength is going to be rewarded okay and then you're going to get a new opportunity in terms of love or this could also be career as well you're walking away from something walk away walk away i'm getting like move away from the light <laughs> move away from it <laughs> which is in a good way it means move away from exiting so don't don't just exit you've got to deal with what's going on now you can't just exit and leave you've got to deal with what's going on now okay you can't just go oh look that's a pretty flower oh look i'll just watch some i'll just watch a film oh, i'll just go on social media no guys you need to focus on what's going on now i know it's hard I'm getting like really motherly with you guys but i feel like you really need to focus on what is stopping you from feeling wow that was deep love that okay that was really deep oh that was really deep. gotta shake that out um yeah what's stopping you from feeling <laughs> i'm sorry that's so deep but i feel like you're gonna walk away from it anyway you're gonna come away from it okay you just need to get away from the, the dark the darkness you gotta get away from the darkness you gotta like i know i said move away from the light but i feel like move away from exiting the premises you gotta deal with what's going on now and then then you can move towards the newness okay there's just an element of, of avoiding this area okay whatever that means to you guys i know this is so deep but a lot of my readings can be really deep sometimes so i hope this is resonating with you so let's see what's going on in terms of your career <clears throat> We have the, wow, Ten of Cups. You're just like, why didn't that happen in my love reading? Well, guys, it can vary, okay? It can literally blend in. So maybe you'll find love once you find your career. Uh, or find your purpose, if you haven't had that already. But <clears throat> Or you just find somebody in love. I also forgot to say in relationships, guys, I feel like you guys are starting to move away from bullshit. <clears throat> if you're dealing with a little bit of anger frustration you're going to have to deal with that first before you move on towards anything else and give yourself time to to deal with the anger or frustration with yourself and not to project it onto your partner if you feel the need to kind of project it onto something try to make sure that you are doing it in your own little world and not towards somebody who's your partner or an external source like a friendship or anything like that um yeah hermit mode is very good for you get in your hermit mode i think that's going to help so now's a career moving forward bitch whoa that looks really nice we got some travel so that's really good we got some embracing who you are dear you're going to go into something that's much more suitable for you um if you're dealing with some stuckness in terms of your career 
I do see that you are going to be embracing either the career you're in now and kind of thinking it's okay I'm going to deal with it I'm going to try and make the most of what's happening I don't really want to go into anything new uh, but also it's like I, I'm getting like I don't want to I don't know what I want to do but I also don't know what to do with this career I'm in now so I feel like for a lot of you guys you're going to find like a spice like spice it up in terms of your career so possibly have a few days off and just kind of figure out is there anything new I want to kind of change in my career um yeah have a few days off to kind of um take a break from work um this can also be like spicing it up in terms of the career so possibly meet some new colleagues um work in a new you're gonna be working in a new sector there's something that's kind of like changing i don't know what it is but it's something new that's kind of kind of been sprinkled in you need sprinkling yourself or it's going to be sprinkled in i feel like the more you just work on yourself it's going to be sprinkled in anyway you know but there's divine divine guidance coming in for you guys so if you're looking for anything new that's going to happen for you guys um so in terms of the five of we've got the five of pentacles with the three of pentacles okay so what's this going on i feel like you guys are really kind of focusing on the lack of and i feel like you need to move away from this there may be some people in your career so possibly in your job so like possible like friendships or like colleagues are really kind of trying to ruffle you up and make you feel like shit move away from these people get some space um as i said i feel like you're feeling annoyed as it is without these people kind of affecting your energy so i definitely sense that you need to kind of move away from this you may be feeling like you're not you haven't got a lot of money either and you're kind of um yeah you kind of i feel like for a lot of you for some of you you feel like it's not a lot of, not uh, there's not a lot of money and there's not a lot of people around and you may feel a little bit lonely lonely and you may feel a bit lacking in money and what's the advice here in terms of this five of pentacles and five of wands there's going to be a new perspective from this so if you are feeling like this there's going to be a new perspective that's going to come out of this so don't worry it's going to change um it's happening for a reason and we have the yeah and this is what's going to happen after that perspective is going to come in the two of wands with the knight of swords and the two of cups amazing new change new um start for you guys and possibly meeting a new partner through this new start that's going to come forward so there's going to be a new perspective which is going to cause you to go into this energy which is really really good it's basically a new cycle starting and the more compassion you have for yourself the easier it's going to feel and i know it's hard for you guys but i feel like that's really really going to help you okay so in terms of this compassion card let's have a little read and see if there's anything extra we need to see i like to look in this book because sometimes it has extra quotes for you guys so this card indicates <clears throat> a need to be kind and compassionate towards others especially those who extend beyond your family and circle of friends whether it's the ill-tempered clerk at the supermarket checkout or the homeless person on the street, you are being urged to look beyond your judgments to see what lies beneath. There's a lot of truth to saying, don't judge a man until you've walked a mile in his shoes. Of how, or for how could you possibly know the story behind another another's life? By drawing this card, you are being encouraged to open your heart and mind to see others through the eyes of love. Every time you feel someone else's pain as if it were your own, you raise your personal vibration and the vibration of the world. Wow, I felt like really teared up by then. Like when I was reading that, I was like, that was really sweet. Um, <laughs> that's me and my water sign. <laughs> Guys, I'm Scorpio, Sun, Cancerian, Moon. So I'm like very watery. <laughs> when you show kindness towards a stranger, you are living as your higher self. When you're understanding and loving, when you're understanding and loving, you align yourself with the divine. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonise with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life. Cycles that are encouraging you to show compassion towards others. As you broaden your understanding of other cultures, personalities and points of view, you inc increase the potential avenues of making your dreams come true. Observation without judgement is the key to your success. The affirmation for you guys this month is I am compassionate towards others and attract the same in return. So for some of you, I feel like there is a, I don't know what this is called, but I'm getting like the union. So you know when all the presidents come together, all the presidents of the different countries, I'm seeing you doing that but in work. So you're gonna be possibly talking to people from different cultures, different countries. Um, I mean, you can see like shaking hands with um, like possibly quite important people. I'm getting like the Dalai Lama. So if any of you guys are meeting the Dalai Lama, that'd be great. But I'm seeing like you meeting like new people and this could be that new spiritual partnership that you could gain from meeting this new person who can help you in career 
and in your spiritual journey okay so that is what i'm seeing for you guys I'm definitely seeing a lot of world travel so you could be meeting a lot of people from online if you work with a lot of online but i'm definitely seeing you just meeting a lot of people i'm seeing you kind of meeting people from all walks of life whatever that means to you in terms of career i'm seeing you just shaking hands and like helping people yeah so i really hope this helps guys thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a big old thumbs up comment down below if it resonated if it didn't resonate just let it fly and please subscribe to my channel if you would like to um i hope this uh resonated with you if it didn't just let it fly it doesn't always resonate for everyone but sending you lots of love guys hope you have a really amazing october and happy halloween if you celebrate it and i'll speak to you very soon bye guys